Do you want to make your event calendar look a little bit nicer when it comes to those date listings? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take your listings from looking like this to more like this. It's really simple. We're gonna use a simple CSS snippet inside our theme. All right, let's jump on in. I'll show you how we do it. Okay, so here we have our normal listing. This is before the CSS and you can see the date looks pretty boring and you know, there's not much there. And I always found these dates feel like they're floating in no man's land. So what we're gonna do is go into the customizer. Now I'm using Cadence theme, but you know, this should work with any theme uh, that allows you to add custom CSS. So you click on the additional CSS area. I've got some additional CSS there already, but jump over to the gist and just copy this CSS. You'll notice I've got global palette colors inside of these and anything that's a modern block theme or modern classic block kind of hybrid will have those. So just copy it and paste it underneath any existing CSS code. Um, that has all the borders and different things. And all you do is just push publish and immediately you should see the new calendar uh, style for that all come up. You can see it's picked up the colors from my theme with the greens and all that sort of thing. So it blends in immediately just by pasting that CSS because it's picking up the variables. Now on top of that, there is some custom padding inside of there. So you'll notice that when I move this into mobile view, it still has nice padding and nothing's getting sort of construed or pulled out of the way. So another handy little thing within this bit of CSS. Well, I hope you like that CSS tip for the event calendar. Remember, you can go to the link below to get that snippet from the gist. I'll also leave a link below to a blog article with some written information on how we apply this with a couple of extra hints and tips on my website. If you liked this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you wanna see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.